Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Mind of the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. Okay. <clears throat> you got, I want to devour you. You spoke it into exist, existence. And you have, uh, miss a day without your friend. Your whole life's off track. So, y'all. You got somebody here that's missing you, all right? And whoever this person is, right? Whenever they don't hear from you, whenever um, this person don't see you, um, when y'all are apart, if this person is not in your energy some way, somehow, shape, form, or fashion, this person whole day is, is like it's off track, okay? Um this is definitely somebody, y'all, I'm not going to say just, they could have been materialistic, all right, at one point, where money mattered, the cars, the clothes, you know, the material things, right? Well, this person is realizing that none of that matters anymore, okay? Uh, none of it. And maybe you all were trying to tell this person that... um you know, y'all are meant to be together, you know, y'all are twin flames, you know what I'm saying? Because maybe you all, Divine Family, already knew that this was a spiritual connection, right? And even though your person felt this way, it's like all of those material things got in the way of him truly seeing what this relationship really is, right? It's like he know that, like, wait a minute, when I'm not talking to her, when I don't see her, bro, my whole, my day ain't even the same. Even though he knew that, it's like maybe he didn't look into it as like a twin flame or a soulmate. And so now he's realizing that, you know, bro, I will give all of that up just to be with the love of my life, just to be with my twin. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what he want. He like, bro, somebody... It's kind of like people sometimes will study you and they know what you like. They know what you don't like. Right. That's why when you started, you start dating and people ask you, so what do you want in a woman? What do you want in a man? Sometimes you want to be a little hesitant when you tell people that what you want, because people are pretenders and they will pretend to be what you want when they're really not like that that's not their true character right and so when people ask you that you want to be like well i will you know i want someone that's going to love me right you can keep it very simple i want i want you to be whoever you are and whoever you are if that's who God wants me to if if God want me to have you a part of my life then be exactly who God made you to be and if i feel like you're a good fit and if God feels like you're a good fit then then you're that's exactly what i'm wanting and needing you see what I'm saying? Because people will pretend, y'all. I'm telling you, like, look, be who God made you to be. If you're for me, you're for me. Show me who you are. Don't come in trying to be who I, who you think I want. You see what I'm saying? I need you to be who God made you to be. If you're for me, God will let me know. If you ain't, then you can roll on. But you see what I'm saying, y'all? Okay. 
And so I feel like people were trying to buy your person, give him things, especially if they knew your person loved money, he loved gifts, he loved jewelry and things like that. They definitely could have came in giving him these things and, you know, it's like, oh man, they really care about me or they really like me because they giving me this, they giving me that. You know what I'm saying? When no, that's farthest from the case. People will do all of those things for you and still not care about you like that. It's just that they got to do something to get you in, to reel you in. And once they get you in, they you start to see their true colors. You see what I'm saying? And so your person now, like, look, none of that stuff matters. I don't want, I don't want any of that. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want love i want the love of my life which is you okay collective that's you all right when you when your person is not talking to you if he ain't seeing you if he ain't around you y'all i'm telling you it's like mm, it's just the day <laughs> i feel like that's how your person feel like mm, today just the day you know what I'm saying? But but when, when you around, oh, baby, he got a whole bunch of energy. He feeling good. He laughing. He in a joking energy. He feel like he can conquer the world. I'm talking about real good. But baby, let you let let him not hear from you. Okay? He's like he lost his best friend, which you are his friend. I'm telling you, you are his friend. You his friend too. But if you told this man that, look, we meant to be together, God told me that we were meant to be together into this and that, he believed you now, okay? And and collective, it says you spoke it into existence. So whatever it is that you said and you told him, he see it now. He know that it's the truth. Like y'all are meant to be together. Like y'all do have like a, a soul contract. He's saying that now. And where you had people trying to buy him and seduce him and do all of these things and play on his weaknesses and addictions and things like that. You never done that. Y'all, I'm, I'm getting that this person never really wanted anything from you like that. Just like you really didn't even really want anything like that from him. I'm talking about like material things, like giving him money and things like that. Like I feel like when it came to other women or other people, he could have took it. But when it came to you, no. And I feel like it's, it's it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't feel like you just want it because you wanted this man to know that you didn't want him for his money. You didn't want him just to give you things. And you didn't want to feel like you were buying him. So you didn't do certain things either. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like both of you all wanted to know that the love is real and it has nothing to do with materials or giving material things and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but your person, I don't feel like he's even like that anybody. I don't anymore. I don't feel like nobody can come in and like tempt him with things like that, like gifts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not always genuine behind it it's not always a good motive behind somebody giving you something anyway you know what i'm saying like you have a lot of people trying to buy people nowadays you know what i'm saying oh i'm gonna give you this ring i'm gonna give you this bracelet oh i'm gonna give you this i'm gonna send you this and they still can be cheating on you they still can be plotting on you you see what i'm saying so it's not always genuine when people giving you stuff it remind me of that tyler perry movie uh, where the, the mama wanted the daughter to be with the rich man but she was being abused every single day you see what I'm saying it's kind of like that it's like you can you can have a rich man or a rich woman you can have the beautiful home the nice cars but he wasn't good to her you see what I'm saying? And on the flip side, the sister, she was a single mom. She had two kids and she didn't want to end up being married. You know what I'm saying? And then the man that she uh, ended up marrying was a bus driver. And the mama was like, he's just a bus driver. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's the thing. He loved her and her children correctly. And them weren't even his biological children. You see what I'm saying? So... 
the materials, that don't matter. None of that matters. Because I can guarantee you, if the sister could trade and be with the bus driver other than the rich man, she would as long as she knew she could be loved correctly. She was getting hit all upside her head every single day because the mama wanted her to have a certain lifestyle. And he gave her everything she wanted. You see, that's what that's basically what I'm trying to say. It don't matter what nobody giving you. It doesn't mean that that's a good person just because they're giving you something. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, moving right along. This person here said he want to devour you. Okay? So this person is definitely thinking about you um, in that way. I'm going to say in an intimate way. You know, I have to keep it PG. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, this person is definitely wanting to do that here, okay? Let's see here. Okay, let's get these here. Yeah, your person here is ready to go, uh, ready to go, what is high though? Ready to go, y'all, I can't even think of the saying, it was right there, and then I forgot. <laughs> is it ready to go to bat for you, or something like that? Yeah, this person ready to go to bat for you. I was finna see it all wrong, I had to see it, see it right. Okay, I had to see it right, I didn't want to say the saying wrong. Yeah, this person want to go to bat for you. Okay, want to defend you. Stand up for this connection. You know what I'm saying? Because I used that, that movie as an example of what I was picking up on for this reading. And basically, your person cannot be seduced. He cannot be manipulated. He cannot be um, bought. And nobody can convince him to go towards somebody else that he really don't want like that. He's following his own heart because it was the mother that wanted the daughter to go with that man. She, she wanted it more than the daughter. The daughter was ready to get away. She was tired of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm getting. It could have been your, your oh, excuse me, y'all. Your, your uh, divine counterpart here could have had friends and family members that wanted him to be with somebody that was rich or maybe that they felt they felt like had more than you material material wise when you were the one that was more rich even with somebody that had more money right you were rich in spirit it's not like you're broke or poor or nothing like that collective i feel like you're somebody that's a very hard worker even if you ain't no millionaire, no billionaire, like you do very well for yourself, right? But these are people here that wanted him to be with somebody that's out and that's probably very well known or like a celebrity type person and all of that, right? But who's to say that that's the best option for your friend or family? Like you are the best option for your person. And your person, I feel like, always knew that, but I feel like it was so much pressure on, like, who he's going to be with, who he's going to settle down with, people watching him, you know what I'm saying? And, like, him wanting to please other people and all of that, when really, y'all, he always knew that you were the one. It was just that maybe the people that he was around was money-hungry and clout hungry and they wanted him to be with a certain type of person you see what i'm saying just like that mother she was more excited child it was like she was excited like that was her man that's the energy that i'm picking up from these friends and family members that's attached to your divine mask that's just like your person end up meeting a very famous actor right I'm not going to say that you're regular, but you're not famous, right? But you do very well for yourself, even though you don't have 
uh, the fame or the money and stuff like that. You might not be as known, but you but you're very genuine. You're very loving. You get out here and you make things happen on your own here. You know what I'm saying? You're not no gold digger. You're very nurturing. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You're beautiful. You have all these great qualities, right? But the only thing that the family is looking at is that this person is a very, very famous actor and they got a whole lot of money. But behind the scenes, they not seeing that somebody could possibly be into addictions, right? Uh, maybe uh, maybe a cheater, okay, or could even be abusive. They ain't looking at none of that. They're only looking at, wait, if you get with them, bruh, uh, I can say that I know them or they're a part of the family and I can get invited to this or I can have money and get this. Or if y'all have all these big things, I can come over there and do this and that. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the energy that I'm getting off of these people. So it's like to heck with the one that actually care about them. We care about the the this person because they got more money or look like they got more money or they got more fame or stardom or whatever. Y'all, they was, I'm telling you, leading your person down a road of destruction and your person had to get in this energy where he made his own decisions. You see what I'm saying? And he couldn't be bought, you know? And that was what was going on, y'all. I'm telling you, that's it. Your person wanted to be with you, but he had so much pressure from these people. I'm telling you, constantly telling him that he can do better. Why don't you try to get this person? Why you don't go towards that person? You see what I'm saying? And like I said, they was trying to get your person to walk away. Look, Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. They were trying to get your person to walk away from his destiny. Like what was faded from him for him. You were meant to be with this person. They was trying to get this man to walk away from something that was faded for him. And trying to make him believe that you all were not fated to be together. And it was meant for him to be with somebody that was successful. Why would these people think that you're not successful? Why would these people think that you... you uh, are not capable of having a beautiful life with this man. You know what I'm saying? Just because maybe you not may, may not be as well known or at the time you might not have as much money. But who's to say that you can't be a wilt with this person? You see what I'm saying? It was it was fated for you to be with this person, but they was trying to convince this man that, that y'all wasn't. And they wanted him to walk away from you. But he finna come in and give you this offer with this page of pentacles. And with this page of wands right here, you know the page of wands is somebody very courageous, right? Y'all, this is somebody here, y'all, that don't care no more what people got to say and how they think. He following his heart and he know y'all meant to be together. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, the fact of the matter is, these people really only, they just wanted this man for his money and for clout. And they wanted to be around, to be invited to certain things, to have access to certain things and certain people and to basically use them. And and even the person, even if they wanted him to go towards somebody that was famous or more known or, or appeared to have more money, right? They was only going to try to use that person to get into certain places and, 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 and for their money. They didn't even mean that, that they wouldn't even mean that person no good. It wouldn't even be genuine because in their mind, it's all about what they can get. You see what I'm saying? This is just like them being able to be invited to a award show around other celebrities. It's not the fact that they just love that person for your person. It's the fact that it's something in it for them. You see what I'm saying? Come on now. That's, and that's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, I'm telling you. And then look at this. Y'all, even if you didn't have the money, maybe that you have now or finna have Ace of Pentacles, God is blessing you with the wealth. And I feel like God hid that. God hid this Ace of Pentacles from, the, from your divine. I feel like he hid it from your divine masculine, his family, and his friends. Because God wanted, God wanted, it's like God wanted you to see people's uh, true character, right? God wanted you to uh, 
see how people were going to treat you and do you when they felt like you didn't have it. So some of you all might could have lost something. You all might could have been struggling at one time. Some of you all might not have had near about as much as you had then when they were judging you, right? But that was a part of God's plan. He wanted people to show their true self. So when you come into this Ace of Pentacles, these people done already called you broke or said that you ain't nothing. You ain't going to amount to nothing and he need to do better and all of that kind of stuff. So guess what? When you pop out and God bless you with all these riches and, and this wealth and this abundance, these people cannot go where God is taking you because they done already showed how they feel about you. You see what I'm saying? They done already showed you who they are. So God, like, no, it don't matter if they apologize and say, I'm sorry for judging you. No, however it is that, you, whatever it is that you said about me, or however it is that you feel, that's how you feel. That is how you feel. Okay, you could be sorry, I accept your apology. But you're, you're, you still cannot come where God is taking me or taking us. You see what I'm saying? They was trying to have your divine masculine miss out on a divine connection off of materials, what they thought. They wanted this person to go off of what they thought was best for him instead of him going off of how he feel. You see what I'm saying? Like what? <laughs> and look, God hid it. Y'all, God hid it. So yeah, to people, it might have appeared that you didn't have much, but it was none of their business to know how much money you have and to know where you're getting it from and how God giving it to you. It was none of their business. So they done already showed themselves. So y'all, unfortunately, you and your divine masculine definitely is, is going to be together. But when it comes to certain family members in his family or friends or even associates that he knew, some of these people ain't going to be around, y'all. I'm telling you, because they were the problem in y'all relationship in the beginning. They was trying to get this man to go towards somebody else that had more, right? Not more loving, not somebody that cared about his well-being, but the materials, a nicer car, a nicer house. You see what I'm saying? But ugly on the inside, beautiful on the outside, could even have nice things but ugly on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Now, on the flip side, you might not have had just the beautifulest home or you might not have had as much money as the time, but you're beautiful inside and out. Not just, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. And you love this man. You pray for this man, right? You want the best for this man. You speak life into this man. All of that. And baby... They was finna, I'm telling you, they finna miss this man off. I'm telling you right now, but something to balance out here. Y'all, your person could be realizing what was going on, what they was trying to do. With this justice, the truth could be coming out about the people that he was around. Like I said, whether it was family, friends, associates, or whoever. He's realizing what they were doing when it came to y'all connection. But it was all because of money. And they didn't, y'all, when I, when I tried to place the car down, it, 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 it act like it wanted to turn to the justice, uh, in reverse, right? Y'all, these people was trying to hide the fact of what they was trying to do to y'all connection. They was trying to be manipulative in a slick way. Like, this is somebody like, oh, son, or oh, bro, oh, sister, oh, friend, um, you have multiple businesses, you're very smart, you're very intelligent, and you know with your history in the past, it wasn't always good with the people that you chose, you know, and I care about you and I love you and I, I want to see you with somebody, you know, that, that love you and they care about you and they can give you back what you give them. Now, when they met, by I want to see somebody give you what you give them. It wasn't the love. And, and what they was really saying is, I want you to get with somebody that got some money. That, that, could, be, that could be a millionaire, a billionaire, and this and that. It wasn't love. It was the wealth. It was the wealth. It was the materials. You see what I'm saying? 
even though you know you don't want no you don't want nobody that ain't trying to do nothing but it wasn't it wasn't that you know what i'm saying because you can hold your own and some of you all do very well for yourself you know what i'm saying you might not be as rich but you do very well for your own here okay you know and some of you all as as soon as these people put their mouth on you and and made it seem like you wasn't nothing or you wasn't good enough or you didn't have enough is when god blessed you is when you start coming up you wasn't struggling no more you weren't going through a certain thing no more and your money started coming up you start getting money and these people judged you harshly way too soon so guess what you know when people do that and whatever they don't want to admit that they wrong so then they try to find something else on why this per this person shouldn't be with you because at first it was you didn't have enough but now that they could be seeing or watching you elevate, now they got to come up with another reason why they don't want this person to be with you because they know that they were wrong about you. You see what I'm saying? That's how people do. And that is the energy that I'm getting off these folks. But your person is seeing through it. And guess what? Look, King of Wands, your person still finna take action towards you. He don't care what these folks got to say. And look, Eight of Swords. These people was trying to Eight of Swords your person. Look, forced into living by others' rules is what it said. Having your person in fear, having them feeling like he can't trust his own judgment, trying to use his past against them to manipulate him. Well, I just care about you because, you know, in the past, you didn't make the best decisions when it came to that and you got hurt. And I don't want to see you go through that again. And, you know, that's how they did it. They came in like they really cared like that, but they really didn't. It was to manipulate and control him. Okay, but your person know what's going on. You feel me? He know what's up now. Yeah, cause and they was doing it in secret, y'all. Like it, like it wasn't them being manipulative. They tried to make it seem like they cared like that when they really didn't. It was really all on what they can get out of the situation. Like I said, spirit said everything I said is the truth. This is the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, so guess what? Now that your person know the truth, look, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, these family people, he know that they only wanted him to, He it was all about money. They were greedy. They were money hungry. They didn't care about him like that. He know that. So now he like, look, you can't have access to where God, you, you cannot go where God is taking me and my divine feminine. You cannot. Okay? Look, the hermit in reverse. These are people here that went against God, did things that were like immoral. You know what I'm saying? Did underhanded things to have this person pick and choose somebody else other than you. You know what I'm saying? Because God was not in this with these people. These people here didn't even think about God. You know what I'm saying? And they and they wasn't take it they wasn't paying attention to the signs that god was giving them to leave y'all alone and stop trying to come in between this connection okay and look and now with this five of cups in reverse these are people here y'all i'm telling you because when i was shuffling i seen a ten of wands y'all this clarifying okay because I, I kept looking at the ten of wands when i was shuffling the five of cups in reverse look these people life is unbearable okay I'm telling you, these people going through divorces, separations. Now they stressed out. Now they losing money. Now all of the all of the things that they did to judge you harshly, it's like it's happening to them, right? So if they said that you was broke, you didn't have enough. Guess what? Now they broke and they don't have enough, right? Now if it's where they wanted this divine masculine to go towards somebody that maybe did have more money and stuff like that. Somebody that they was weak could have been, could be leaving them to go towards somebody with more money because now they struggling. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like it's backfiring. And now they could be seeing how you felt when they judged you harshly. You know what I'm saying? It's like now they're, they're, they're getting a dose of their own medicine here. Okay, but the fact of the matter is, your divine masculine is not dealing with these people. He's rejecting them. Look, four of cups. Okay, and he's standing up for you, and he's missing you, and he feel like with you, everything is is on the up and up. Okay, and he finna get ready to travel to you, point blank, period. Cause he know that you're the love of his life, and he don't care what nobody got to say no more. He's not listening to nobody, and and your person learned a valuable lesson. 
follow his own mind and his own heart. It don't matter what happened in the past. It don't matter what kind of mistakes you done made. When you ain't got clarity on something or, or if you feel like you don't know what to do, that's when you pray and you ask God for clarity. You don't go outside yourself because everybody don't always mean you good. I don't care who it is. It could even be family. They don't always have the right and the right answers and the solutions. And in this case, they didn't. You see what I'm saying? They didn't. Y'all, it was all about money with these people. I'm telling you and how things look. It was all about them. They didn't care about your person like that. Your person see that now. So he learned a valuable lesson in this situation. And he's seeing everything clearly now. He don't walk all the way up. You hear me? And these people are upset that they cannot go. Y'all, and then it's the thing. These people thought that y'all weren't going to have a beautiful life because at that moment, God hid the wealth that he was about to give you. And they, and they judged you too soon and wrote you off too soon. And now you and your divine master are going to have a very beautiful and wealthy and healthy life together. And they can't even be a part of it. But hey, that, that's them. But that's all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. All right. God love you. And I do too. Bye.